Hello, 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 hello. My beloved friends, how you all doing? I do hope you are doing well and staying hydrated. My God, did you see that extreme heat and humidity in your area? Because here in New York area, my God, we feel like we are literally being baked in the oven. Oh, my goodness, it's so extremely hot outside like i'm just coming in now and whew, oh my god i can't wait for august to go away i appreciate your presence i do not take for granted not even any second that you spend on my channel thank you so much from the bottom of my heart could you please um help me push that red subscribe button um tap the notification bell friends we are still on true love series and today we're going to be talking about uh love and materialism because these two are two different concepts that sometimes can be interwoven and because we live in the world of capitalism people think it's okay to measure love by how much you got how much is in your bank account how much is your retirement do you have inheritance from your parents oh do you have a home that i can get if we get married and get divorced what am i going to get out of you <laughs> as weird as it sounds this is the real world that we are living on people are out there praying while they're talking about love, so-called love, they are using a microscope to try to figure out everything that you have, including life insurance. It happens every day. Some people even get killed because their spouse want to grab their life insurance. These things happen. There's a whole lot to talk about because a lot of people have fall victim. This is why... I think that this concept of love is extremely important because some people's hearts are completely broken and anything, any kind of psychological scar doesn't go away. A lingers on is a psychological trauma. So why should people go through this? If they are paying attention, why would you wait to be a victim before you you protect yourself? doesn't make sense. A wise person will listen to people and watch the experiences of others to be able to protect themselves. This materialistic love is usually the first flag that people miss in someone the letter quote and unquote loved and married and once that marriage occurred you are hooked in pay attention pay a very serious attention when you are dating when you are cutting when you are in a relationship Take what people does for the first time seriously. When they show you who they are for the first time, take it and run to the bank. People don't change. You don't want to realize who truly they were years after at the time that it's too late and you stand to, you stand to lose a whole lot of things. This concept of love doesn't receive the attention that he needs in this world because people have used this concept to destroy others and i don't think it's getting the attention that he deserves to protect people's emotional and psychological well-being to protect people's finances because these are the two areas that he hits the most your psyche your emotion and your finances those are the targets i want to ask you a question 
have you ever had people <laughs> ask you or someone else on the very first date maybe on a restaurant like where you guys you know are getting to meet for the first time the first question that pops out of their mouth is what do you do for a living hmm. that question is not normal it's preying on your income or your your what these two things have nothing to do with each other whether you are working in a wall street and making a million dollars a month materialism or money or how much you make income revenue or your work it's not uh, a criteria in measuring love it's not a criteria at all these are two different concepts whether you are working in mcdonald's or working in burger king or or even you know not working at all anyone that truly loves you will love you for who you are believe me at that first date and you tell them mm, you know i work in the mcdonald's i'm sorry mcdonald's is a very great job is a is an entry level you know people start there and then have to you know go to school get some real professional licenses but you know people of the world does not have patience anymore no one wants to be part of the building no one wants to support anyone that is trying to build their lives so even if you are saying okay okay i'm working in mcdonald's i'm going to school blah 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 on the first date you won't be surprised that that person will never come back again because that's not what they are looking for they are looking for medical doctors pharmacists and we women are always victims of this because when it comes to love, men goes with their brain. They are rational. They can smell you from two miles away, where you're coming from, and your agenda or motive. Men knows, and they will run as fast as they can. But we women are always vulnerable. I don't understand that. This is the way we are wired. I have not seen where materialism or, or finances is a criteria for measuring love it's not but i can understand people being apprehensive of you know dating someone that doesn't have you know a good job or doesn't bring in so much for people who cares about that make no mistake i completely understand that but what i'm saying that if you are focusing on the finances you're going to miss a lot of things because you might get a medical doctor or a pharmacist people that make a huge money you will just trade your happiness and peace of mind with whatever you feel that you are gaining from that person you can follow your heart and love someone that's probably working in Wendy's or KFC and then help to build that person or help them to explore other things they can do because every individual has multiple skills and talents we just have to find where those talents are or require some work you do it and you both live happily ever after so it's the two things that you have to choose of is mutual my friends and it is a deep emotional connection between two people involved this is why if you truly love someone you can tell when they are in distress 
when something is totally not right with them. You can smell it from a distance. If you are not physically together, you can have a feeling that something is wrong and you call and it turns out that they are really going through something. That is love. So, it's really in, it's a spiritual and emotional connection between two people. In the world today, love is tied with materialism. The two concepts are interwoven. And people normally think it's normal. It is not. It's not normal. If you start off a relationship with someone because they are in love with how much you are making, wait until something happens to you and you are not able to as much money. That will be the end of that relationship. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, my very dearest people. Please, 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 if you haven't subscribed already, please, you can leave this time around without, you know, just encouraging me by hitting that subscribe button, pushing the notification bell, and then um, like and share my videos, please. I thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you for coming. Peace.